What is going on everyone? Big Country here, back with another episode of Monster Seed on the PS1. Now last time we left off, we got out of the castle, we got a whole bunch of exposition and, well, we were very, very full on seeds, so I had to make some tough decisions. I really did. We had to go in and we had to remove a few monsters and we had to add a few monsters. So some old, maybe not favorites like Defoe, a couple of other random guys that we had in here that we don't use very often. Just a few of them we had to get rid of. But we did, in fact, add a couple of guys to the team. Just two for right now. We got, uh, or three, we got Fenerosa, the Light Drappy, I believe is what he's called. This guy right here, normal call, unforgiving character. He's a bit tanky. It's what I like. And he's got uh, 32 power of action, which is sweet. He's got a bunch of buffing moves. So we're going to use him to go out and buff our other tank muffins. And just kind of uh, wreck stuff. And he can take a few hits. So he's going to stay out there and keep chugging along doing what he has to do. I'm very happy about it. So let's see who else we got. We got Weber. We got ourselves one of these guys, which um, I'm pretty happy about. Uh, Gorillo, quite fast call, unforgiving, 42 life force, 27 power of action, meaning his Diabolos has a, a 30 battling stat, and then his Gill Scissors has 26, so he should be a decent offensive attacker for us. Now, we did get one more that I'm pretty happy about, and I said I was going to get him, and finally, I have found him. And it's this guy right here. His name is YT. He is the monster that Daniel uses in the opening cutscene, and I really wanted him. A battling offensive type found inside the same seed as the previous monster I just showed you. They're both in the same seed. I'll show you which seed it is in case you're interested. So he's a battling offensive type. He's a monster, but in olden times was supposed to have been a beautiful young maiden. Now we got a normal unforgiving for him as well with a 44 life force and 29 power of action. Meaning he's going to hit really hard with his uh, cyclone and white arrow, which is awesome. So just more big, strong ground units that can go in and just wreck face. And that's what I'm looking for here on my team. So we're going to go back out and we're going to actually pull up this guy right here so let's go look at the seeds so i can show you the seed that he came out of so we got this one right here i believe i opened one yep it's this one which is seed number 24. seed 24 at three and four right here are are those two fellas in case you were curious then we opened up uh, this seed right here, and we got the Drappy at number one. He's right here. So, oh, it actually shows you what all seeds something comes out of. Hold on. Hold on. Let's play a game here. Um, let's go back to the front. I'm going to check something. I never even noticed this was a thing you could do. So I want to look for monsters that I found more than once. You. If I click you. So... I have found him four times out of all the times that he's available in the game. And that's where I found him. Okay, so that's really cool. So maybe by the time this is all said and done, I will have a a full selection of where you can find these monsters at. And uh, I can do a video on it. That'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, not too bad. Anyways, that's where we're at now. I did sell a few uh, of the really, really early seeds we got like some harassment seeds a few magic attackers from way at the beginning of the game that i just haven't used yet it seemed unnecessary to still have them so well let us what do we got to do i guess we got to go up here into uh the famel mountain trail now we do have our healing items replenished and we have a few new hard hitters so let's get in here and see what happens Let's go and get the statues of Condole from all the mountain gangs. And it may just be true that a different world civilization exists, just like the rumors that we've all heard. All right, well, let's go, Daniel. I It's been so long since I've done this, I don't remember where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. So we're just going to have to go in here and uh, hope for the best, I suppose. Oh, lordy. So we just keep following along here until something happens all right 
What do we got here? We got a a statue, an obelisk. It's scenery common to any ruins. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably. So we can go this way. What does this lead to? It leads to nothing. Okay, so maybe a chest can spawn there or something. Alright, let's head on back up. And now we have two ways we can go here. We can go up or we can go down. So I guess we'll go up. Hello. What's this machine? Seems quite old. Can't you get it to work? I mean, I assume that this is the uh, teleporty deal. It's been a long time since I played this. I don't remember the end of the game. I'm, you know, I might as well be playing through this blindly at this point. All right, so can I interact with you? No? All right, I'm assuming that's the teleport machine to take us to the different world civilization. And that's pretty cool. But we're going to ignore that for right now. We're going to go down. We got to go get the statues of Condol, apparently. All right, we have found an old... I don't know what we got here. We found something. So we are back inside of another maze and or labyrinth. And it would appear we have at least one way to go. Hold on, is there another way to go if I if I walk up these stairs and around? Let's take... Okay, I'm having a hard time staying straight on it. So I'm just going to press against the wall all the way around because... Apparently that's necessary. Daniel's Daniel's been drinking the Kool-Aid, folks. It's okay. All right, there's nothing up here. So is this where we just came from? Yeah, it's where we just came from. So you're not really missing anything there. I mean, I guess a, a chest could spawn up there. And that was the most pointless thing ever. Uh, there's There's importance to that place, I'm sure. Something's going to happen there at some point. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. All right, what do we got here? We got a bridge. There's a box there. I want to know what that is, but it doesn't appear that we're going to find out. All right, so we've come to a another fork in the road. Well, I always like to check the areas that we've come from first before continuing forward. So let's go over here. Oh, I guess we're going to get to check out the box. What is it? Oh, it's an actual chest. Treasure chest. Mine aid and money. That is, you know, I'll take it. Free stuff is free stuff. Am I right? And we are certainly, we're certainly going to get lost in here. I can feel it already. But if you're playing along at home, we're going to get lost together. All right, we have an encounter. My start. That's cool. Uh, it's nice to go back to potentially some easier fights after Byron. Byron was kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, and they're just wild monsters again. Very nice. I'm happy being back to wild monsters. I'm not going to lie. We're at a weird angle, though. All right, so we got to just start using up some of these uh, monsters we don't use very often. I've already had to sell off some seeds and, you know, sell off some monsters that I didn't want. And so if you're in here and I haven't used you in a while, well, guess what? You're you're going to get used in, in some of these fights here up in the mountains. Because I don't have a choice in the matter. You got to you gotta get used at some point. Uh, Capote, Mikasa, Bergson. Let's see. Malthus. At Krom. Krom, you know, you're probably coming up to the end of your life, sir. Uh, we used you a good chunk early on in the game. Not so much now, but, I mean, it's not that big a deal. All right, so let us get uh, to this fight here. We got a couple of jelly bobs here, and whatever that is, that is that like a, is that like a garbage pile? Ten point. Oh, they're actually relatively beefy for wild monsters, too, man. I gotta give them that. They're relatively beefy. Aren't you being a bit too free with the monsters? What, what does that mean? If you don't mind me asking, I'm not fully sure I, I understand. 
So we're just going to go into standby here personally. I don't really have much that I need to do. And Mansfield's going to kind of move on up to get ready to attack. Our third monster will in fact hatch. And there he is. What is going on, Crom, Mr. Duck thing? It's nice to have you here. Crom is going to go in with an attack. He's going to do the Salt Mule, which... It lowers something. I don't remember what. We're going to find out. Okay. It lowers his power. Oh, oh, I'm going to die. I mean, no, you're not. You're just, you're, you're not, you're going to hit like wet toilet paper. And he has decided he's going for the Badig Mule. I, I, I hope I pronounced that right. Badish Mule. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And that will, in fact, lower his defense HP to one. All right, so Krom's coming in doing Krom things, it would appear. You tried to do me in before, take that. It comes at him with in tubo, and oh. Wow, look how small, what is that, Aizen? Look how small his HP bar is, man. How far we've come in our adventure. The strength of our team has risen exponentially, and now the weak ones like Krom will be fed to the... Whatever these things are, as sacrifice to welcome in new powerful members to our team. Or something. I don't know. He goes in for the attack, and he does, uh, I think that was Light Ball. And with the lower of stats from the Krom, that actually did a lot. So, going in with the Flash End, bang, and we get the Petrification Man, I love those monsters. Now, Krom's going again. He's pretty fast. He's going in with the Vitamist, which actually, this may just flat out lower HP. I don't remember, but we're going to see right now. And he's going for the same guy. He just, he doesn't like that guy at all. Look at that. Lowers max HP. Oh, he lowered the max HP of his own, his own uh, teammate slash unit. That's not good. Don't be doing no more of that, Krom. And that's it. He's going in with the Ebele Mist. Well, I think that lowers a uh, ability power or something. We'll see. We'll see. He's got so many moves. He's got so many moves. Yep, lowers ability to two. And he hits our own guy because he's a dumb, dumb bubblegum and knocks his ability down to 17. That's okay. So we got Daniel here. I'm just going to move up myself and start beating on the Jelly Bob here because it doesn't appear anyone else that I have out is uh super <laughs> super interested in getting through this fight and we are going to get lost here in this maze and i'm not going to lie to you i want to i want to figure this out i don't want to sit here all day fighting wild monsters but we could use some new seeds and i'd like to see what seeds drop here in this area so anytime we have a fight or a chest you know where i'm going to be i'm going to be right up in the thick of it we got ourselves uh, a couple of really cool monsters from the Bell's Fortress, uh, you know, part two expedition that we went on. And we added a couple of really, really cool monsters to the team. So I'm, it's always fun going in and hatching monsters and seeing what, you know, what there is to find and figuring out where things come from, especially when I haven't played this game in as long as I have. And this is by far the farthest I've been in this game in at least a decade at this point so having a lot of fun going in and exploring and just kind of seeing what there is to see you know the lay of the land uh we got a venom rasua and some money we got no seeds but that's fine it does appear that there is a cave here of some kind i kind of like to just go until i i run out of of way to go in a specific direction when you're in a, a maze like this So we got, hold on, are we going back the way we came or what? I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of very confused as to where we are in conjuncture with where we're going. Well, it would appear that there's no way to go this direction anymore. Dangerous, wasn't it? Still, we can't cross over to the other side with this. So uh, that solves that problem for us. If you're following along at home and going exactly where I'm going, well... You aren't going to be going in that direction any farther, so let's head back. We can go in that cave now and see what's the deal with the cave. Yep, you right here. What's the deal with you?
All right. I have no idea what that did. Nothing. It it did nothing. Okay, well, then oh, I guess we gotta go back in the cave. Slowly but surely, we are mapping out everything over here. We haven't found a whole lot of significance yet. We found the machine that I'm fairly certain is the teleporter, found the obelisk, and uh, we nearly were crushed to death by a mysterious avalanche of boulders onto a bridge. But other than that, we haven't really... We haven't really figured out where we're going here, so let's go this way. Let's see what is this way, shall we? Okay. Another... Another building? What do we got here? Well carved. There's a sense of motion. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'll take your word for it, Daniel. When we come out here, I don't see much of anything. Just a doorway. We have a couple of different ways that we can go here. So we'll stick up here with the top. There is, in fact, a doorway up at the top. That's pretty sneaky. All right, so the top way got us out. The top way got us out of there, so where... I'm just so confused as to where we're going. There's another cave. I'm just going to avoid the caves right now. I'm just going to head on down. I'm just going to head down till I find something. Because, you know, these caves are just, they're like distractions at the moment. My goal is to get to where we need to go. And the caves that we've gone through, none of us have really gotten us where we need to go. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, you're a person. What do you want with the Krishna party? Oh, hey, we found one of the gangs. This is not the place for someone like you to come. I mean, who are you to decide that? I've come here to get the statue of Condol. I want you to hand it over to me without any fuss. Are you from the Black Rope Gang? Do I, do I look like I'm from the Black Rope Gang? No? I'm not from the Black Rope Gang. But I've come to collect the statue of Condol. Suspicious fellow. I see, so we are suspicious, it would appear. Wait, what was your name? Lance Horns? Horns? Hornsnet? What is that name? You look like you're wearing Saiyan armor. Which I guess I'm okay with. Alright, so you got one of those. Well, we got one of those as well. Let's come up here. Let's throw some guys down. No crom. Um... We're going to slap down Malthus. He hasn't got to fight in a while. If he dies, so be it. We got plenty of seeds we need to go hatch. So, Malthus. Um, we'll slap down Kepler. Good old Kepler. I'll probably end up going and rehatching another uh, bunny thing. I've, I've, I've really loved the bunny thing in this series. And we need one more. Um, and I think that's going to be Mopus. We'll slap Mopus down. He helped out so much in that last dungeon. In the in the fortress and uh we'll see what more we can kind of eke out of him here going into the mountain uh raids that we got to do for the statues of condol so we got clingy here and he's gonna spy door our seed doing about third damage lance hornet is that what your name is lance hornet or lancet hornet every i, I don't i don't see it i look up and i just i kind of miss it Oh, hello, that's a thing. That Genesect-looking motherfucker. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Ruler, I'll attack. Yeah, you definitely remind me of Genesect. So you're going to Garko gas us. I'm sure he's going right over our seats and right to me. Yep. It did a little bit of damage. It's not that bad. 
Not bad. Yeah, you could say it that way, uh, Mr. Daniel. And he's moving on up, and he gets another attack. All right, so he's got a lot of action points. So Iene, excuse me. I I Iene, Iene Mogas. Is that what your is that what your move said? I don't know. I don't know what it said. I've never seen that move before. I don't think. Oh boy, you're on my hit list now. It doesn't appear to take much. Tarantula. All right, so he whacked us, and one of our seeds has disappeared. So that's always a good, a good start when you don't even get any of your monsters to to hatch before one of them disappears. Boyo. All right, so we're gonna gonna call another monster out. Malthus. Why didn't you hatch, man? Cowardly. Oh, maybe that's why. All right, Bergson, you're up. Next time we're in town, we're gonna we're gonna sell Malthus, and we're gonna back ourselves all the way up so that maybe he can't hit us with the magic attacks. And unfortunately, folks, I think that's about all the time we have for Monster Seed in this one so thank you for joining me big country for this episode of monster seed on the ps1 if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification to keep up with what we're doing here on the channel have a wonderful night and as always i'll see you in the next one